speaker number one from the competent communication manual, project number two, organize your speech, five to seven minutes, and the title is World News, Ebola Outbreak, or Ebola Outbreak. Li Jiao, please help provide the objective of this speech. Select an appropriate offline, which allows listeners to easily follow and understand your speech. Make your message clear with supporting material directly contributing to that message. Using appropriate transitions when moving from one idea to another. Create a strong opening and a conclusion. Five to seven minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Let's now welcome our speaker, Ragini. The title is World News, Ebola Outbreak. World News, Ebola Outbreak. Ragini. Thank you. Let's give him the public hand. Good evening, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters. Today my topic is about Ebola virus, which is the world-known news about this outbreak. I'm sure everyone know about this. You must have seen on all different news channels, CNN, ABC, internet, everywhere. It is scary world news. About 850 people died in West Africa because of this uh, deadliest virus. So what is Ebola? Ebola is a very dangerous virus and disease, uh, which is 90% of people die because of this infection. The Ebola, uh, how you say person has a Ebola? Uh, how you know? So there are some symptoms about the Ebola that once the person harbors the virus, it takes two to 21 days to see the different uh, symptoms. And one of the symptoms is like severe uh, fever, headache, joint aches, uh, muscle aches. And it takes to like internal bleeding and external bleeding. I will take back uh, you to the history uh, and history of disease goes back to 1976. First outbreak was manifested in Sudan and a village in Zaire near Ebola River, from which the disease draw its name, Ebola virus. The 2014 outbreak in the West Africa, which began in Guyana in February of 2014, and has spread to Liberia, Sierra, and up to Nigeria. It is the largest outbreak since the Ebola virus was discovered back 40 years ago. So how this Ebola spreads? The consumption of uh, bushmeat, uh, mostly in Africa, often a precursor to such outbreaks. The WHO, it means like the um, World Health Organization says the fruit bats are probably the natural host uh, for the virus. Fruit bats harbor this virus, but show no ill effect on themselves. So the virus is transmitted to people from these wild animals and spreads to the human. And then human comes in direct contact of the deceased uh, human through either the blood, saliva, any other body secretions that they have gets the infection. Uh, Ebola is, however, not an airborne virus. It's by contact, it spreads to the context. So how it is diagnosed, this Ebola virus? Ebola virus infection can be diagnosed definitely in a laboratory by antigen antibody detection test also PCR, means polymer, uh, po polymer chain reaction assay, and also cell culture of this virus. So far, this Ebola is untreatable. 
there is no known vaccine or cure for the disease. If caught early, then it can be battled like other viruses. According to WHO, treatment include managing the patient's fluids, electrolytes, and blood pressure, kidney function, etc. So there is no yet any um, uh, treatment available. So how this uh, outbreak is, it is very, very, very bad outbreak. So now number is reaching up to 1,000 lives. Uh, the authority also saying the risk of the spreading of this disease to Europe and to, you, to the USA is not zero, but it is possible that it can spread around other part of the world. So what can be done to prevent this disease? Those who contacted the disease and medical personnel who is treating them need to be kept under strict quarantine, protecting oneself from disease by washing hands and avoiding direct contact with the patient. These contagious microbes spreading throughout the region Government has ordered deceased body should be cremated to prevent the spread of the virus. World Health Organization is now exploring implications of using an experimental drug to combat this virus. One experimental drug already in use in US to treat uh, two aid patients uh, in this outbreak. So in this conclusion, I will say that this Ebola virus is still, you know, deadly, and it is real, which is threatening to the whole world right now. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you, Virginia, for a very, very informative and it's very timely information that giving us this topic now I understand that came from Ebola River. And I noticed that there's one doctor Just infected, went back to the United States, now at, in Atlanta, and he's recovering well. So yeah. that's very good. And it's not contagious. Of course, when you go to contact of saliva, blood, and things like that, then that could be a different kind of situation. So very good. Thank you so much. Our second speaker will be giving.